For 100 years, Garfield School was home to thousands of Billings School students. Well, that's before it closed in 2001. The Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch occupied it for a while, and then in 2019, Hobby Lobby bought it and donated it to a Southside church. Now, the building may be old, but as Q2's Russ Riesinger reports, there are some big dreams for what could still be in its future. I'm outside the old Garfield School here in Billings. It has quite a past. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places, but sits mostly empty now with the exception of a small child care center. One man is looking forward, though, to what could still be ahead for its future. It's been a long time since students roamed the halls of the old Garfield School. And it's also been a long time since Pastor David Morales first started dreaming of turning this old school into something else. Most people don't realize the plight of, of what's going on out here. It would be called the Montana Dream Center, a place that would provide help for those who've struggled with homelessness and addiction. You can find treatment if you have money or insurance, but if you don't, um, you really, it's, it's very limited. Yeah. And a place for those who've fallen victim to another evil that Morales says he first began became aware of while working as a truancy officer a couple decades ago. I was finding more and more of these little girls caught up in the human trafficking or back child prostitution. It, it's like it, it was a tough thing. And Morales says the way the building is broken up would make it easy to keep it safe and separate for multiple uses and populations. So the rescue floor to serve to bring in the little girls caught in the human trafficking, uh, the upper floors will be used for uh, a discipleship treatment program, six to 12 months for women. Um, and that's women out here on the street. That's for anyone. It's not based on money. It's not based on whether they can pay or not. It's based on whether they need help and need to get sober. That's the other part that makes the Dream Center work so well is you get as many nonprofits on one side site so that you can bring as many direct services as possible. Same but making this dream chances. center come true will also take a lot of money. For one, this old boiler needs to be replaced with a modern heating and AC system. But it's just so expensive, $12,000 a month. A fire suppression system needs to be installed, as well as a lot of other rehab for the old building. But Morales isn't about to give up on this dream, and he hopes the community will dream along with him. I'm just praying and hoping that this happens sooner than later because it's so desperately needed for both the kids and the adults. Morales says they plan to kick off a fundraising and education campaign in early 2022 with hopes of eventually making the Dream Center a reality. He says it can't come soon enough. In Billings, I'm Russ Riesinger reporting for MTN News.